Okay, so what is the Big Bang Theory? Now, we're not talking here about the TV show. Okay, what we're talking about instead is a theory that explains how the universe started. Now, what we notice is this. If we look into the sky, we notice that all the galaxies we can see seem to be moving away from us. And the further away they are, the faster, this is us here in the middle, the, fur, the faster they appear to be moving. Now, I'm not saying they're all, we're at the centre of the galaxy, we're at the centre of the universe, we're certainly not. But they all seem to be moving away from us. And we know that because of redshift. So there are two bits of evidence for it. Redshift is the first. Now, if they're all moving away from us, then yesterday, all these objects were a little bit closer. And the day before, they were even closer. And if we go back in time, then these objects were even closer. So if we continue back about 15 billion years, these objects were so close that actually they all existed in one single tiny little thing here called a singularity. Now nobody quite knows why that singularity decided to start expanding 15 billion years ago in terms of the universe that we have today, but everything in our universe existed inside that singularity and it was smaller than the dot you're seeing on the screen now. It was infinitely small. Now redshift is not the only other piece of it, other the only evidence we have for this theory. We also have cosmic microwave background radiation. Now what that is, we call it CMBR for short. What that is is uh, the remains of the Big Bang, the echo of the Big Bang. Now, when the Big Bang happened, this rapid expansion, we theorise, we, we sort of guess, I guess, that huge amounts of energy would have been released in the form of gamma waves. And as the universe is expanding, the edge of the universe is expanding so, so quickly, because of the Doppler effect and redshift, and if you want to look at redshift, check out the video on redshift, uh, Doppler effect means that these waves have been stretched out so rather than being incredibly close together as gamma waves are, because the edge of the universe is expanding so, so quickly, they've been stretched out, and they've been stretched right out into, into microwaves. Now, CMBR is the reason why when you turn your TV on and you're in between channels, you see static on the TV, or in, if you're in between stations when you listen to the radio, you hear crackle, that's what you're hearing. About 5 to 10% of that crackle is the noise of the Big Bang is the remains of the Big Bang, the echo of the Big Bang, uh, and cosmic micro microwave background radiation. It is only a theory. Uh, unfortunately, it's very hard to prove or disprove, but it is currently the leading theory for what happened, uh, what, how the universe came to look like it does now.